It's difficult to come at a seminal work like Winterreiser in 2018 without inevitably conjuring up uh, the sounds of Dietrich Fischer-Dieskau and Gerald Moore and other great 20th century interpreters. What really differentiates this recording of Winterreiser from other recordings on, on period instruments uh, I think is, is David Greco's approach to the text. David is a very dear friend and he's one of the most uh, inspiring singers I've worked with. But his, uh, his text-oriented approach to this music makes it so different to other approaches by other singers in this repertoire, which is um, a much more lyrical approach. And in this regard, we were both inspired by the singers that Schubert worked with. Um, Fergal, for instance, was a singer that Schubert greatly admired. And of course, he cut his teeth, as it were, on the operatic stage, which, and, he, and he was renowned for his declamation as well as his uh, attention to storytelling. And this was something that David and I really worked quite hard on in this recording to, to bring across uh, the, the text-oriented features of Winterreiser as opposed to a more lyrical approach, which you hear in often mainstream performances. Winterreiser, especially for a singer, is a very daunting prospect because apart from the fact that many of the greats made it part of their core repertoire and recorded it many times even. You have voices of um, famous singers like Elizabeth Schwarzkopf in your head who famously said, you must never approach this work if you're under the age of 45. This is a mature man or woman's cycle. And for me, this makes no sense because the themes of grief, anxiety, nostalgia, are very much themes that young people can relate to as well. And let's not forget as well that Schubert was 32 when he wrote this and sung it and um, had great effect with it as well. So I think these themes are eternal and should no way be um, relegated to people of a more mature age. Nun sieht sich hier alleine und denkt in Trauer nach.